Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Let's learn about the parts of the human mouth. The human mouth, also known as the oral cavity, consists of several key parts, each with specific functions. The mouth can be divided into sections for better understanding. Here are the main sections of the mouth. Oral cavity proper. This is the main area inside the mouth, bordered by the teeth and gums, where food is chewed and mixed with saliva. Vestibule. The vestibule is the space between the inner cheeks and lips and the teeth and gums. It's the area you can see when you open your mouth slightly and look inside. Upper and lower jaw. Maxilla and mandible. The upper jaw, or the maxilla, holds the upper teeth, and the lower jaw, or the mandible, holds the lower teeth. These sections move to help you chew and talk. Hard and soft palate. The hard palate is the bony front part of the roof of the mouth, and the soft palate is the softer back part. They separate the mouth from the nasal cavity. Tongue. The tongue is divided into different parts. The tip, the body, or the middle part, and the base, or the back part. It helps with tasting, chewing, swallowing, and speaking. Floor of the mouth. This is the area under the tongue, including the tissues and glands that produce saliva. Now that we have a better understanding of the zones or sections of the mouth, let's learn a bit more about the individual parts of the mouth. Lips. The lips help to seal the mouth and are essential for speech, facial expressions, and eating. They also contain sensory receptors that provide information about the texture and temperature of food. Teeth. Teeth are crucial for chewing, also known as mastication, which breaks down food into smaller pieces to facilitate digestion. They also play a role in speech articulation. Tongue. The tongue is a muscular organ that aids in tasting, chewing, swallowing, also known as deglutition, and speaking. It has taste buds that detect different flavors. Hard palate. The hard palate forms the roof of the mouth and separates the oral cavity from the nasal cavity. It provides a rigid surface against which the tongue can press food during chewing. Soft palate. The soft palate is the posterior part of the roof of the mouth. It closes off the nasal passages during swallowing to prevent food from entering the nasal cavity. Uvula. The uvula is a small, fleshy extension at the back of the soft palate. It helps in speech and in triggering the gag reflex to prevent choking. Salivary glands. The salivary glands produce saliva which moistens food to aid in chewing and swallowing. Saliva also contains enzymes that begin the process of digestion and help maintain oral health. Gums, also known as gingiva. Gums are the soft tissue that surrounds and supports the teeth. They provide a protective barrier for the roots of the teeth and the bone that holds them in place. Alveolar ridge. The alveolar ridge is the bony ridge containing the sockets of the teeth. It provides the necessary support to keep the teeth in place. Tonsils. The tonsils are lymphoid tissues located at the back of the mouth. They play a role in the immune system by helping to fight infections. Each of the parts discussed in this video work together to facilitate essential functions. Some of the functions include eating, speaking, and maintaining oral health. Maintaining proper oral health is essential for overall well-being. 
here are three key things to remember. Brush and floss daily. Brush your teeth at least twice a day, preferably in the morning and before bed. Make sure to brush for at least two minutes, covering all surfaces of your teeth. Floss daily to remove food particles and plaque between your teeth that the toothbrush can't reach. Flossing helps prevent cavities and gum disease. Eat a healthy diet. Limit sugary foods and drinks. Sugary and acidic foods and drinks can lead to tooth decay. Try to limit snacks and beverages high in sugar such as candy, soda, and fruit juices. Eat nutrient-rich foods. Include plenty of fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and dairy products in your diet. These foods provide essential nutrients for healthy teeth and gums. Regular dental checkups. Visit the dentist. Schedule regular dental checkups, ideally every six months. A dentist can clean your teeth, check for cavities, and identify any potential issues early on. Professional cleaning. Professional cleanings remove plaque and tartar buildup that regular brushing and flossing can't eliminate. This helps prevent gum disease and other oral health problems. By following these three key practices, you can maintain healthy teeth and gums and prevent many common dental issues. I hope you learned something about the parts of the mouth today. Thanks for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email easyahomeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.